day for a wedding. You two really know how to set it up, don't you? <laughs> Patrick and Lindsay, today you are surrounded by your family and friends, all of whom are gathered to witness your exchange of vows and to share in this joy, joyous occasion. Let this be a statement of what you mean to each other and the commitment of marriage that you are making. Who gives their blessing to this union of Patrick and Lindsay? Her mother and I. Thank you. Thank you. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of all the rest. What this ceremony can do is affirm the love you have for one another in the presence of your family and friends. On this day of your wedding, you stand somewhat apart from other people. You stand within the light of your love, and this is as it should be. You will experience a lot together, some wonderful and some difficult. But even when it's difficult, you must manage to call upon the strength and the love you have for each other to see you through. From this day onward, you must come to closer together than ever before. You must love one another with the strength that makes this bond a marriage. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have many things, you've been many things to one another acquaintances, friends, companions, and even teachers, for you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same, for after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for Patrick and Lindsay, for a love that continues to give them joy and peace, that provides them with energy to face the responsibilities of life. We pray for them a home of serenity, not just a place of private joy and retreat, but a temple wherein the values of God and family are generated and upheld. We pray that as they grow together, they are able to look back at their lives together and say these two things. Because you loved me, you have given me faith in myself, and also, because I have seen the good in you, I have received from you a faith in humanity. Patrick, do you promise Lindsay that from this day onward, you will stand with her in sickness and health, in joy and sorrow, and do you pledge to her your respect and your love? If so, answer, I do. I do. And Lindsay, do you promise Patrick that from this day onward, you will stand with him in sickness and health, in joy and sorrow, and do you pledge to him your respect and your love? If so, answer, I do. I do. And now, repeat after me. Patrick, Lindsay, I solemnly vow. Lindsay, I solemnly vow. That I will safeguard and hold you deep in my heart. That I will safeguard and hold you deep in my heart. I will protect you. I will protect you. Trust you. Trust you. And respect you. And respect you. I will share your joys and sorrows. I will share your joys and sorrows. And comfort you in times of need. And comfort you in times of need. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And uphold your hopes and dreams. And uphold your hopes and dreams. And keep you safe at my side. And keep you safe at my side. All that is mine is now yours. All that is mine is yours. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. My heart. My heart. And my love. And my love. From this moment on. From this moment on. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Lindsay, Patrick, I solemnly vow. Patrick, I solemnly vow that I will safeguard that I will safeguard and hold you deep in my heart and hold you deep in my heart. I will protect you. I will protect you. Trust you. Trust you. And respect you. And respect you. I will share your joys and sorrows. 
I will share your joys and your sorrows. And comfort you in times of need. And comfort you in times of need. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And uphold your hopes and dreams. And uphold your hopes and dreams. And keep you safe at my side. And keep you safe at my side. All that is mine is now yours. All that is mine is now yours. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. My heart. My heart. And my love. And my love. From this moment on. From this moment on. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Patrick and Lindsay in the bond of matrimony. In the presence of God and these friends, you will seal your promise with rings, the symbol of the life you will share together. Patrick? Lindsay, in token and pledge. Lindsay, in token and pledge. Of the vow made between us. Of the vow made between us. With this ring, I thee wed. With this swing, I thee wed. <laughs> Patrick, in token and pledge. Patrick, in token and pledge. Of the vows made between us. Of the vows made between us. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. <clears throat> Lindsay and Patrick. A marriage occurs when we find that person who has a lock that fits our key and a key that fits our lock. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our trust self step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. That person is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Okay. You ready? Yep. At this point, Lindsay and Patrick will now seal the love that they have for each other with the love lock. Let's take that they have each other and to show that love is locked for eternity the, the keys are now being sent up into heaven <clears throat> Patrick and Lindsay now that you have chosen one another and all that comes with it you have vowed to love each other and locked that love in marriage it gives me great joy to bless this union and pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this commitment with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Lindsay Rogalski. <laughs>